Hi guys, Ashley here. Today I'm bringing you Lufan from my team and we are going to talk about an amazing platform in China which is called Zhihu. Fan, you've been working in Chinese social media for many years and you are a heavy user of Chinese social media as well. I know that one of your favorite platforms is in fact Zhihu. Yeah. Tell me why. What is this platform? What does it do? Yeah, so actually I've been uh, using Zhihu for many years and uh, I can say even things in, it just started in around 2013. So basically Zhihu is a platform that you can answer and ask questions there. So it's a Chinese version of Cura uh, in Western. Yes, so basically it's a community that you can ask you can answer, you can add the questions, and you can even organize some discussions with, uh, about a specific topic you're interested in. Mm. So basically it's a knowledge sharing, and you can see lots of experts there, professional experts, so um, you can learn a lot there. So right now, the Zhihu has uh, 450, uh, 30 million users. And with 45 million daily active users, so it's a uh, wow, yes. And uh, people use it on average, I, I think, 17, 70 minutes every day on average. 70? Yes, yeah. More than an hour? Yeah, yeah. A day? Average. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Average. So people, what do people again? So this is the, I understand it's a 2013 platform, right? Yeah. It was established back then. It is a Chinese version of Quora. It's about asking and answering questions. But what do people do there for 70 minutes a day? Yeah, so basically people can read. So actually, um, uh, content on Zhihu is very um, long articles or detailed explana explanations uh, of something. So people read articles and mm. people discuss there. And if you have some questions, some even more very um, professional, very uh, specialized uh, question in some areas, you can also ask there and people will ask, uh, tell you the answers. Yes, and uh, in addition to uh, questions uh, regarding some hot topics uh, in the so society or some um, theories, etc., uh, etc., you can also discuss there, and, mm. and and people would, would like to discuss with you. Yeah. Mm. And what are some of the popular categories, right? I mean, on Quora, uh, on the international market, there's yeah. everything from baby products to cars to engineering. I mean, you can literally, it's just like asking Dr. Google, but you're asking a community, right? So yeah. what are the topics that users are particularly interested in? Yeah, uh, I say various, but maybe uh, the lifestyle, the technology, the cars. Yeah, you can, uh, you know, Zhihu just launched a new, um, new function that you can even try uh, um, book to try the car there. So it's a it's kind of a services. The cars and the uh, 3C, the literature, and also the mom and baby, because Zhihu mm. just also launched a channel that you can uh, uh, specifically for mom and baby. Mm. Yeah, and all the books, etc, etc. So it's various um, topics and you can ask everything you're interested in there. So what are the functions? If I'm a user, you just mentioned there are some new functions. Yeah, yeah. somebody launched a channel, somebody launched a, some sort of mini program where you can book directly a car, etc. Et so what as a user can I do apart from ask a question and answer the question? Is there a community? Is there a group? Uh, what is there? Uh, the functions. Yes, yeah, so um, I'd like to introduce a function called Roundtable. So basically it's um, uh, a group of people uh, within, uh, they discuss a specific topic. And it, this is also uh, not only for individual you can apply for a Roundtable, even for brand it's also a, I think one of the most um, marketing method you can use. So what is Roundtable? So basically it's um, a specific topic and you invite several guys Usually it would be KOLs on Zhihu or the expert uh, in this area and uh, around 5 to 8 these uh, guys and to uh, uh, allow them to answer your question and in addition to these guys you also ask the general public, the general yeah. users to answer these questions so this round table would be conducted within one week and yeah. um, include a preheat and also uh, the, the, the um, yeah. and during the preheat this period the Zhihu also will give you some traffic so you will have interest at the main page and lots of people would see if they are interested in, the, in this topic yes but this round table can it be uh, created by a brand yes. for free or the brand shall pay 
Uh, Shopee. <laughs> okay, so it's a it's a paid marketing, uh, basically an advertising option um, on. Bas to basically, you you need to apply for the pop first, and you need to apply for the round table first. So you need to cooperate with the Zhihu. Yeah, but I think for individual, it can also. Um, be free so it depends how much traffic you want to drive and what's the KOL because you need to invite the KOLs mm. so it's um, mostly uh, this phase mm. charge back KOLs tell me a bit more about the KOLs on Zhuhu who are they I mean it's very clear uh, in our mind to see that you know, Douyin KOL, he's yeah. dancing there and jumping and uh, entertaining people, or Weibo KOL talking about their travels, etc. But what about Zhuhu KOLs? How are they built up? So actually, uh, Zhuhu KOL have several types. The first is an uh, expert in the different areas. So they may be, um, for example, uh, university profession professors mm. or the manager of uh, industry, etc., etc. So they have expertise in this area for many years and they mm. can answer questions. So and they like to offer content on Zhihu and to answer your question. And the second one is some mostly would be you invite them um, to a specific campaigns. Mm. And uh, for example I'd like to give an example, yes. So around two years ago the Google the Google also uh, raised a campaign on Zhihu. Mm -hmm. So uh, what they did, they did a lot of great hit, etc, etc, etc. And regarding the KOLs, they invited Nang Nang. Ah. Uh, yes, the, the famous pianist in China. So, um, because that, that topic is about AI. So, mm. how you feel, how you sense AI around yourself and explain the AI. So, they invite uh, Nang Nang and cooperate with AI to play the piano and to show the public how AI um, influence our life. So, which is very interesting and uh, I think uh, attract a uh, million's uh, views and users to read the content. I think your example rose uh, a few questions already. First of all, is Google really in China? How can Google be in China when it's blocked? Well, while Google search engines are blocked in China and they are not working within the um, uh, that ecosystem, but Google ad services, right? Google Display Network is still operational and there is a China team for Google. So Google is a known company in China as well, right? Yeah, and, and Google have an account on Zhihu and for that campaign it's for their Google Develop Days. So it's a forum for, for promotion for their uh, forum. Absolutely. And uh, the second question a lot of people must be having is, okay, this guy, the pianist, Lang Lang, that they invited, did he have a big followership? Did he really have his Zhuhu account? What kind of people, apart from, as you said, experts in the industry, university professors, what kind of people actually go to set out to share their knowledge on, uh, on Zhuhu? Uh, yeah, so um, uh, uh, go back to this campaign. So in addition to now, now they also invite some um, a uh, some experts in AI this area, but also very active on um, Zhihu and this kind of KOLs uh, to share their knowledge. And in addition to this KOLs or these uh, celebrities, uh, the general users on Zhihu mm. would be uh, would be those well paid and well educated. Um, um, and people living in near tier one and two cities. But in the past, we always say that. But things are a little bit different uh, nowadays. What's different? Yeah. So right now, it's not well paid people no, no. from a uh, higher tier cities. So what's going on? No, it's still, it's still. But it's, uh, there is a phenomenon that the users on Zhihu is um, um, younger and younger than mm. before. So, for example, nowadays, the people age uh, 60 to 35. Four is the um, core users. Um, but why, why I say it's younger? Because the people aged under 24 account for 30% around this wow. year. But this number in two years ago is 20%. Right. Yeah. So right. you can see it's younger. So why I said the, it's a little, little bit different? Because they, this um, post 95 or post uh, zero zeros, they don't have pay <laughs> <laughs> right now. But they are, they are still uh, well educated. Yeah, so they are well educated, they might not yet have a job, but they are basically the future power of China, yeah, right? Yeah. And right now, post-COVID-19, I also believe this is a very big trend. Everybody is going into education, right? Uh, if you have a job, you want to continuously educate yourself, not to lose it. If you've recently been laid off, or you're afraid to be laid off, uh, you know, you're going to 
explore new topics like AI right now, robotics is a very big topic, yeah. uh, online education, and Juhu just provides an additional format, an additional in-depth kind of route into the topic that you're interested in. And you can watch people that are experts, right? That are true opinion leaders when it comes to these very niche topics. I know a lot of engineers, I know a lot of developers, I know a lot of uh, people that are, for example, interested in um, online gaming, mm -hmm. like the uh, esports, not the online game, but esports, they also go onto this platform to learn specific industry knowledge. Yeah, and Juhu also, um, they also proactively uh, want to promote, help, help the brand, brand to promote and to do um, many marketing things. So they just launched uh, Ju Plus, this kind of marketing mm. platforms. So basically you can um, pro promote your brand and you can initiate your advertising campaign uh, on these platforms. And what's more, um, within these platforms, you can even lead your traffic to media programs, to Timos and to WeChat. Though it's not very well developed yet, but it's uh, still trying to um, so Zhuhu from a community, right, where yeah. they were pretty much uh, an expert community, a discussion forum, right, a very yeah. sophisticated one. They are turning into a tool for marketers and brands. Yeah. Before we talk about how can brands utilize this platform in 2020 to the best possible way, yeah. um, is there a sales function? Can we sell something directly at Zhuhu? Because I know a lot of people are wondering. Yeah, actually, um, they can, you can sell books and magnets. <laughs> so basically it's Juhu, it's all the products. I right? can mm. think to eco platform outside, yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. So how shall brands and what kind of brands use Juhu as a marketing platform in China in 2020? What are the best ways? What are the best formats? What are the best functions? Actually, I see content marketing is the key on Juhu. No matter you are doing advertising, uh, short-term advertising, or you are doing round table, I mentioned before, or you invite KOLs, else, but they all of these are go back to your content. Mm. So actually, um, for brand, if you want, if you are a a, a brand that hard to know by the customers, or you if you want to educate the customers mm. on your brand, so if you want to develop your brand image, your concept, etc., etc., I think Juhu is a good platform to be there. And um, short term, you can do some advertising or camera promotion, or you can do a round table. So within a one week, you want to teach everything, every aspect of your brand there. You can mm. do that. But long term, you can do a cons continuously um, content marketing. Yes. thought leadership right yeah. and very often it's not just about the brand what I've seen a lot of companies do is they go to educate their industry yeah right yeah. they go to talk about either you have a product that's really difficult to understand right there, there needs to be some uh, detailed knowledge something beyond obvious and you want to introduce why is your product so special why you know and how did you arrive at this specific product so then you go to explain it or you can explain your industry or you can explain your brand story yeah and even you can get some user experience and the uh, ideas of the products <laughs> from Jihu because there are lots of experts there and you can get insights inspiration from them so yeah. feedback insights and inspiration yeah yeah so any industries that you would specifically recommend to use Jihu? Cars. Cars, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why cars? So, uh, actually, I, I said, no, um, I think most um, famous cars has their already dig digital process on Jihu. And there are lots of car experts and users interested in this area there. So, for example, lots of car, uh, car brands will release their new product on Juhu mm. and there is also Juhu as I said before also would like to help this brand so for mm. example they launched the book um, book, book, the, the, the book services you can book to try the car etc et mm. so book yeah. trial services yeah. for the cars apart from uh, <laughs> apart from uh, cars anybody else uh, and uh, anything related to technology so um, B2B business so maybe it's a little bit hard to be understand in in, in short post and also as as I said before the mom and baby the mom and baby industry and also mm. the general customer goods so mm. yeah. so basically a lot of brands can be on Juhu yeah. another thing that I would like to mention that fewer people know is that Juhu articles are very rankable and searchable on Baidu 
So once you have yourself an article uh, on Zhuhu and it let's say has 100 likes and 50 comments, your article based on these keywords, your keywords, is likely to rank higher than a Xinhua uh, article uh, in the Google search. So basically, it is a phenomenal way to also do digital PR. Yeah, because yeah. when people search your brand name, they search the topic, these articles come up on top. Are these articles still searchable on WeChat? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, if you search some keywords on WeChat, Zhihu um, articles or the question also will pop up. Yeah, so it's not only Baidu, as you can see, yeah. WeChat ecosystem also ranks uh, Juhu articles very high. Yeah. Now, I think we have introduced Juhu very well. Thank you so much. Fun. Guys, um, definitely don't overlook this platform because it has educated users. It has a lot of them. It has definitely a lot of potential for communicating your complicated product, industry, or brand. We'll chat next time.